A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus A plus English, that's so much fun, English education, for you and everyone, so come along. Learn some grammar, hey. learn a phrase, uh-huh. learn something new every day, learn the A plus away. Okay, everyone, welcome back to A Plus English. I'm Adam. And I'm Elsie. And in our last lesson, we learned about Rabbit Island in Japan and how after World War II, due to chemical weapons being made there, not many people stayed or lived there and rabbits took over the place. They did take over the place, so many people now can go there and visit them and take pictures with these cute little jumpers. But remember, not to feed them with human food. All right, so there are some more places in Japan that I guess have different animals, and we're going to find out about those today. But our warm up question is Are islands full of one kind of animal a good idea? Why or why not? Only one kind of animal.、Mm-hmm. Mm, it's not a good idea, in my opinion, because too many of one thing is not good. Right. When one group of a n i m a l or the overpopulated, which means too many,、mm. it can lead to actually diseases, and those diseases can be spread easily. And it actually hurts the environment because there's certain animals that could. Those only certain animals, they could drink all the water and eat all the food around because there are no predators. Oh, so it not only h u r t the species,、yes. but also the environment. It actually does. And so that's why actually hunters are important. Oh, but today we're going to look at more places in Japan, right? We are going to look at more places in Japan that have special animals、hmm. living in there. Okay, so let's get started. Check out these special animal areas in Japan. Warm up question Are islands full of one kind of animal a good idea? Why or why not? Cat Island, or Tashirojima, is off the coast of Ishinomaki. Hundreds of cats live there. During the Edo period, people used cats to keep mice away. From their silk. After that time, people made a living by fishing. They believed the cats could bring good fortune. The fishermen liked them and even made a shrine to remember a dead cat. Well, today our article starts off by saying Cat Island or Tashirojima is off the coast of. Ishinomaki. Oh,、wow. that's a lot of Japanese. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I think you did a great job. <laughs> Let me try. Tashiro Jima.、Ah. Ishinomaki. Right. It's kind of fun <laughs> to say, right? Okay. Well, isn't there a little island off the coast of Taiwan? What is it called again? Actually, there are several islands off the coast of Taiwan. I believe there are more than three. So we've been to one of them actually, which is called Xiao Liu Chiu Wan. Wow. Well, on this island in Japan, the article says hundreds of cats live there. Can you believe it? A whole cat island. Oh my gosh. I would want to go there. What about you? Of course, I would want to go there too. But wait, if there's hundreds of cats, do you think it would smell bad?、Mm, I don't think so because cats are really clean animals, right?、Um, and then they clean themselves. Well, they do clean themselves, okay. So I don't think the place will stink. <laughs> okay, yeah. And back to Taipei,、yeah. in our city, we also have a cat area. But、mm. it's not an island, it's a village. Oh, we've been there. That's right. Right, we've been there. And then when we were there, I remember I wanted to take one of the cats home, but decided not to. <laughs> the 
the article continues to say now, everyone, during the Edo period, people used cats to keep mice away from their silk. Yeah, but I don't normally wear, I guess you could say, silk clothes, but I know a lot of people like it, and you have a few silk outfits. Do you like to wear it? How、are、does you, it feel? Are you sure I have some? Yeah, I'm sure you have <laughs> some. I've, heard, I've seen you wear some around. Yeah, silk, it, it, it's soft, smooth, and light, but be careful with mice because they might want to eat it. Hmm. So they might want to eat it because maybe it tastes good or maybe what? Why do they want to eat it, I wonder? I'm not sure. Well, after that time, so after the Edo period, which was about, you know, 400 to 250 years ago, the article says after that time, people made a living by fishing. So what do you make a living by, Elsie? I make a living by teaching English. What about you? I'm the same. I make a living by teaching English as well. But what if you weren't doing that? How else would you like to make a living? You mean if I wasn't a teacher? Yeah. I would want to make a living by、hmm, selling fried chicken. Oh, selling fried chicken. Because I love chicken, <laughs> you, especially fried chicken. You love fried chicken. What about spicy chicken? Um, not a big fan of spicy chicken. Okay, so you wouldn't make a living by selling spicy chicken, only chicken. Oh, you know what? I would、mm-hmm. maybe want to make a living by taking care of the cats on the island. Oh, yes. So all these fishermen were there making a living by fishing, but the article says they believed the cats could bring good fortune. And so cats are kind of like, I guess, good luck there. Do you know, Elsie, any other animals maybe here in Taiwan that are supposed to be or supposed to bring good fortune? I think in our culture here, we think dogs can bring us good luck or good fortune, but not cats. Because a lot of people say cats are evil. Oh, yeah, like the scary black cat or yeah, something. Yeah,、like、and、that. also, like in your culture, if people see a black cat. Yeah. It's bad luck. It's bad luck. That's right. So, not good fortune. So, yeah, I guess here we think dogs and maybe tigers are lucky animals. Well, right. And if there's a lot of people fishing there in a village like that, I'm sure the cats had a lot of fish to eat. Right. But the article then says the fishermen liked them and even made a shrine to remember a dead cat. Ooh, a shrine. So, it's like a little temple to remember someone. Yeah. And here, it's to remember a cat. Aww. And next, we're looking at a village in Japan, right? That's right. But my question would be to you is if our cat died, would you put a little shrine in our house for him? I will do that for sure. <laughs> of course you would. <laughs> Dao Fox Village isn't an island, it's a village near Shiroishi with over 100 foxes. Six different types of foxes live there. You can feed them special fox food. The foxes outside cages will follow you around for more food. Visitors love these special places. They're just a few examples of the great things to see in Japan. All right. Well, like you said, there is another village, an actual village, not an island. And the article says, Zhao Fox Village isn't an island. It's a village near Shiryoshi with over 100 foxes. Wow. I remember you like foxes, right? Why do you like foxes so much?、Mm. Because they are a little bit similar to cats, right? They can climb, they hunt at night. And actually, a cool fact about a fox、mm-hmm. is when it is nervous or a little bit scared, it will smile. Ugh, how creepy. <laughs> also, I think they're cute. Yeah, they do look a lot like cats. They are.、Hmm. But in this village, there are, the article says, six different types. Of foxes live there. Oh, wow. So you can see six different kinds of foxes there. So when you go there, what can you do with those foxes? Good question. It says, the article says, 
You can feed them special fox food. Hmm. So, like what? What do foxes eat? Yeah. Well, what do foxes eat? Right. We will. We know in story books the foxes will get into like the hen house. We say into the chicken coop or something like that. So we know they will eat chickens.、Um, I'm sure they eat mice and birds.、Ooh. And I even know they eat your second favorite animal. Rabbits. Wow, they actually eat everything. Do they eat cats? Probably. <laughs> I don't know.、Like、tiny kittens. Oh no! But according to the article, the foxes outside cages will follow you around for more food. Wait. So they're not in cages. No, they're, they're not. They're outside cages. That's right. So they're outside wandering around in the village. Uh huh. I hope they're well trained and won't attack any visitors. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I would not like to get bit by a fox, and honestly, it would probably really hurt if you got bit by a fox. For sure. So I might think about、um, if I really want to go to that island to visit those foxes. Well, the article says visitors love these special places. Really? So people in Japan are really nice to their animals. They even have special places for them to live in. So we we've read about an island,、mm -hmm. which is a rabbit island in Japan. Right. And also, what else?、This、cat is a fox island and a cat like island. Yeah, a cat island and a fox、wow. village. Cool. Yeah, it says they're just a few examples of the great things to see in Japan. Okay, now we're at the first part of the sentence. The first thing we see is the coast. This word means the coast. Off the coast, off 加上地方，那就是某地的离岸。那 on the coast 就会是在岸边。那如果你要说的是特别的方位，在东岸，你可以说 on the east coast， 在西岸 on the west coast。课文例句给的是呢 ，Most cities on the island of Taiwan are along the coasts。台湾这座岛的城市大多都在沿海地区。那第二个我们要看到的是 village 这个名词指的是村庄，有什么样的村庄呢？像是渔村，我们可以说是 a fishing village。那如果是山中的村落，那可能就是 a mountain village， 好，或是复数型 mountain villages， 好，也是可以的，他们都很常见。那如果你要说的是里面住的人，那就是村民，我们就在 village 的字尾加上一个 r 变成 villager， 好，指的就是村民们。那课文例句给的是呢 ，this This old village has a small church and a few houses. 这个老村庄里面呢，有一间小教堂和一些房子。那第三个，我们要看到这个名词是 type 种类。当然，你也可以说 kind 这个字哈。那有不同种类的电影，我们就可以说是 different types of movies, different types of music。那就是不同种类的音乐。Different types of food, 那就是不同种类的食物。所以当你要问人家说，哎，你是喜欢什么种类的电影啊？你可以问 What types of movies do you like? 那课文例句给的是 ，There are many types of cakes and cookies to choose from at the bakery. 这间面包店里面呢，有好多种类的蛋糕和饼干可以挑选。那再来第四个单词，我们要看到的是 cage 这个名词，代表的是笼子。那小型的笼子可能是个鸟笼，好，英文可以说 a bird cage。那大型的笼子呢，还可以大到像是装狮子，好，中文说是兽笼，那你可以说是 a big a huge cage。那当你要把动物关在笼子里面的时候，你可以用 keep an animal in the cage。那如果动物逃离了这个笼子， Escape from the cage. 好，你可以这么说。Escape 就是逃脱、逃离的动词。那课文例句给的是呢 ，Vanessa keeps her rabbits in a big cage. 代表 Vanessa 把她的兔子养在一个大笼子里头。那接着到了 Magic Box 的部分，我们要讲到的是 hundreds of 后面加上复数名词，代表的是数以百计的。好，你那你在 hundred 的字尾要加上 s 才可以哦。那如果是数以千计的，你可以用 thousands of。那如果是数以百万计的，你可以用 millions of。那记得后面都是复数名词。So for example, there were hundreds of people that were killed in the train crash. 火车事故中有数百人丧生。Review time. Okay, now everyone, it is time for our review time. Okay, what are we going to do today? What 
are the words we have? Okay, first and foremost, the words we have are coast, village, type, and cage. Okay, so using those words, we are going to make a story using those vocabulary words.、Mm-hmm. Do you want to go first?、Mm, okay, sure. All right, here we go, everyone. Once upon a time, a little boy named Gary lived in a small village. Oh, so you you used the word village already? Yeah. A little boy named Gary lived in a small village, and in that village there were thousands of animals. Okay. Oh, didn't use one yet. All right. <laughs> oh, thousands of different types of animals. Okay,、mm. so、thousands of different types of animals. But Gary's favorite type of animal were or was cats. He loved cats very much. Okay, and there were different kinds of cats, but they were all in cages. Oh no! So. Gary, being the nice boy he is, decided to take one of the cages of cats and bring it down to the coast to let it out. Oh, so hopefully, Gary and those cats can have a wonderful life there. That's right. <laughs> and after Gary let out the cats, he did it one by one until all the cats. We're out of the cages. Okay, good for Gary. He did good. Yeah. All right, the end. All right. Well, everyone, thank you for joining us today. Again, my name is Teacher Adam, and I'm Elsie. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Magic box. Hi, everyone. It's me, Wendy. 是我 Wendy， 彼得潘温柔的女朋友。话说，今天来跟大家聊聊我的心声吧。Before I met Peter Pan, I had a few friends. 我以前在认识彼得潘之前呢，前往梦幻岛前，可是有一些要好的好姐妹、好朋友呢。但是 ，After I met Peter Pan, I had few friends. 在认识彼得潘，前往梦幻岛后，我就把心思都放在他身上。我朋友又少到可怜。<笑>没错，同学们是不是好奇认识彼得潘之前跟之后，有一些好朋友和朋友少到可怜？英文里 a few 跟 few 怎么只差一个字，意义就差这么多啊？温柔可人的温蒂，我就来解释一下。首先，你们要先记得，不管是 few 还是 a few， 后面加的名词都必须要是复数的可数名词哦。所以我说的 a few friends 和 few friends 后面加的 friends 有 s， 就代表它是可数名词哦。再来，记得这一点之后呢，我就来讲解一下它们的差别。其实 a few 指的就是一些的意思，一些是真的有一些哦。Before I met Peter Pan, I had a few friends. 认识彼得潘之前，我有一些朋友，指的就是可能有两三个啊，知心的好姐妹可以谈天这样子。但是当我如果说在认识彼得潘之后，我都没朋友了。After I met Peter Pan, I had few friends. 没有了 a，、uh, 单纯只有 few， 意思就大不同了。就指的是几乎没有，很少，少到可怜这样子。所以我刚刚说的呢，就是我几乎都没有朋友啦。这时候就是要强调量很少的感觉，跟 a few 有一些几个是大大不同的哟。跟这很像的用法呢，还有常见的 little 和 a little， 一样也是 little。没有加耳的呢，是指很少，几乎没有，少到数不出来，那么少可怜的感觉。有加耳的话呢 ，a little 指的是真的有一些，有一点这样子。但是它跟 few a few 的差别在哪呢？其实呢，只是差在 little 和 a little 后面要加的是不可数名词，而且呢，一定一定是要不可数名词哦。我接下来来造句给你们听听。Before Captain Hook robbed us, we had a little money. 
，在虎克船长抢劫我们之前，我们身上其实还有一点钱能用，就是真的有一点钱这样子。After Captain Hook robbed us, we had little money. 在被他抢了之后，我们的钱就少到好可怜啊，都是几乎没有这样子的感觉。这样子 ，few 和 a few， 你们学会了吗